All right, so here's our next example of trigonometric substitution. Notice this time we have the radical with a square and a square, but this time it's radical square plus square. So now the question is, how do we label the right triangle? Always put theta in the lower left. Always label the hypotenuse first. So what are our rules? Number one, label the hypotenuse first. Always label hypotenuse first. So what do we have? If it's the square plus the square, what was our rule? If it's square plus square, the hypotenuse is the entire radical. If it's square plus square, the hypotenuse is the entire radical. So where's our hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus nine. So that hypotenuse we know is labeled correctly. We have two other sides yet to label. The question is, which one is the vertical side? What are our two options? Our two options are either x or three, right? That's what's getting squared here is x, what's getting squared here is three. So one of these sides needs to be three, and one of these sides needs to be x. What's our rule? Our rule is, remember, as much as possible, make the variable vertical. If the variable is already spoken for, then you use as much variable as you can get your hands on. But if possible, make the variable vertical, and then whatever's left over, and typically that's going to be the constant, is the third side. That triangle is correctly labeled. That triangle is correctly labeled. We'll worry about later what to do with it, but for now, we want to be able to get from the statement of the problem to the correct labeling of the triangle. And then once we've practiced this a little bit, then we'll go into the actual procedure of how to make the substitution.